Oh, hi. Definitely just woke up. But guys, it's tattoo day. I'm getting my third tattoo today, and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along. Yesterday, I made sure to drink a ton of water. Got a really good night's sleep. I'm about to jump in the shower, since someone's going to be uh, very close to me. And also, either you can shave the area that is going to get tattooed, or the person that's going to tattoo you is going to do it. And if you're weirded out by having another adult shave part of your body, you might want to do it yourself. Yay, I'm all clean! I don't have particularly hairy shoulders, even if you have like little tiny baby fuzzies over your skin, which most people have at least something going on. You still take that stuff off of there. I'm not going to be offended if the girl doing my tattoo goes back over with a razor. It's just going to make the tattoo better. So my plan for during the day today, since my appointment isn't until six o'clock tonight is to just eat a bunch of good meals and just keep myself hydrated and try not to overdo it with the coffee. It'll be difficult because it's Friday and it's been a long week. Also made a point to wear one of my zippered sleeve shirts. I did a tutorial for these sometime last year, I think. I can just unzip that strapless bra so I have no straps going over my shoulder because it's going to be kind of tender. I also picked the one that I made that's black because there's always a chance that the tattoo ink or even blood is going to get onto the clothing that you're wearing near the area you're getting tattooed. Tattoo day lunchtime update. The only thing I'm a little worried about is my throat is crazy swollen today. It is actually hurting to talk right now. It wasn't as bad earlier this morning, but as soon as I stepped outside, it kind of hit me. So normally if I was feeling like I was coming down with a cold, I would cancel the appointment, but it is also the day of, so I would have to pay them a fee to cancel. I think it's allergy related, so it's not like it's going to be contagious, and that's probably not going to affect my healing or anything. After work update, I had some laptop time and some puppy snuggles, which are essential to rusting before getting a tattoo. Makes the healing go faster. I also got my third water bottle of the day, and I packed a teeny tiny lunch bag with a tiny Gatorade and crackers and some Mica Nikes, because sometimes you just need some sugar. Probably the most important thing above any of the other things is make sure you have cash with you. Figure out an estimate of how long it's going to take to get your tattoo done. Figure out what their general by the hour shop rate is or just ask the artist an estimate for how much it's going to cost and then make sure you include your tip. So I just ate a super good sandwich. It had some broccoli and cheddar soup. I also got a soda just to get some sugar in my body, which I never drink soda. I said that like I'm from Chicago. Don't know where that came from. Now this is not my first time speaking to the girl that's going to be doing my tattoo. I stopped in about a week ago, asked her what she thought, and then we emailed back and forth a little bit about the design and exactly where I want it, and she traced around the shape of my arm so that she knew what kind of space she had to work with. If you have the opportunity and live close enough, it's a good idea to maybe actually go in and talk about it and where you want your tattoo and stuff and spacing and sizing and all that fun shit. Now let's get the actual tattoo done, shall we? So I got my tattoo done. It hurts like a bitch. I don't know how to describe the pain when you're actually getting the tattoo done because it varies from spot to spot and from needle type to needle type and as the session goes on it hurts differently. Now that everything's done it's definitely sore and it almost feels like cat scratches where there's like almost a burn to it. I'm gonna leave these bandages on for another hour. This is what she put on herself after she washed it, cleaned everything off. Peel these off now. There it is. Now that I'm editing everything, the videos I took while I was doing the aftercare are very incoherent. I got extremely sick, and looking back, I really probably should have canceled that appointment, but nobody else got sick. It didn't inhibit my healing. I'm fine now. Say la vie. Oh, I want to sing Bewitched it's so bad. So here's my aftercare explained really quickly. After I took those bandages off, I washed it with clear, unscented antibacterial soap, rinsed it off with water, patted it dry with a paper towel, then rubbed in this stuff called Aquaphor. It's almost like a Vaseline consistency, just massaged it into the tattoo, and then when I went to sleep, I loosely put some saran wrap over it. Not everybody recommends it. Some people swear by it. It's all your personal preference or whatever your tattoo artist tells you. I do the washing in the aquaphor three times a day for the first like half week. And then once everything starts peeling, which is super gross and fun, I just switch over to an unscented lotion like Curel, something like that. And then once all the peeling's done and it's completely healed, I just make a point to put some block on if I know I'm going outside. Side note for anybody who doesn't know what the fuck I got a tattoo of. It's uh, an otter patronus from from Harry Potter based off a painting that my favorite artist Sarah Richard did of Hermione with her Patronus. Being an adult is fun because you can do stuff like this to yourself.